G'day folks, Corey Hind. I hope you're doing really well. I wanted to shoot a quick video about Google Business Profile and some things that potentially people are missing and that you should pay attention to because Google does give us lots of hints about what they want us to do. And it's important to do that because what we find usually is that if we do all the Google things that they want us to do and we follow their processes and do the things they recommend, then we do better. And that's what we're here for. We want to rank higher on Google Business Profile so we get free phone calls, etc. So the crux of what I wanted to show you today was a couple of things that I feel people are actually missing quite often. Now, when you go to your Google Business Profile and your, your dashboard will look like this, that's what you'll generally see when you go to your Google Business Profile. First of all, pay attention over here. So profile strength. Now, I can't click on anything there. Sometimes, though, there'll be a little link there and it'll ask you to click on there to complete your profile. So if that appears on yours, you should click on that straight away and just see what they're recommending. Now, usually there'll be a couple of actual suggestions and then there'll be run some ads. So that's up to you. You can run some ads or you can... Just do the other things that they recommend and it will allow you to skip past some things as well. So that's the first thing is go to your actual listing and, and check out what you can see there. Okay. Now the rest of this you'll be quite, you know, you'll be aware of these areas. You've seen them before, I'm sure. But just down here on the bottom are these other sections that a lot of people quite simply ignore or aren't aware that they can do things. So if you click on this little arrow, you can see a whole bunch of things. You know, view your records, look at getting more reviews, add an update. Uh, we'll look at the last one in a moment because I think that's underutilized. But what you can do on here is to, now holiday hours, this will often pop up. Anzac Day is next week as I film this. That's an Australian and New Zealand holiday. You can click there and just dismiss that if you want to. Exterior photo, you can dismiss that too if you want to or you can do the things they suggest by clicking on there. So that is definitely an area to explore because in my experience, most business owners don't do that. We will do that for our clients because that's what they pay us for is to maximize their Google business profile for best results and free customers. If you need that, ask us for help. I wanted to explore one more thing. Now over here, obviously, Reviews really important, but if we go to the far right, there's one that not many people use at all. And I think it's worthwhile because, again, it's a suggestion from Google. When we follow Google's suggestions, that's normally a really good thing. And that's over here, create an offer. Now, I don't know about you guys, but what I know from my time in business and marketing is that if you make good, clear offers regularly, you'll grow your business. That's that's a thing. You've got to make offers. I help lots of small business owners, and sometimes they struggle with clarity, messages, and offers. They are afraid to make offers. So Google's saying to us right here, hey, you know, create an offer, let customers know about your sales and discounts. Now, this part of the game is all about winning that first time customer. So when you click on there, you know, you can pop in a title of the offer, a start date, an end date, photos, the whole thing, and that'll go in more or less like a Google business profile update or post. I think you should try it because, you know, a lot of people don't do that. They ignore the, the offer part of marketing. And they're certainly not using the offer part of Google Business Profile. And what we know is that the further along we go, the more things we do, the more compliant we are with what they want us to do, the better we go. So give that a go, see what happens, and then maybe loop back to your basics, which is just revisit all of these areas up here to make sure they're completed as much as possible and just keep going. You know, this game of Google Business Profile, the rewards are really, really high. Part of the game is, you know, Google's training us to use their products often, but it's worth it because the rewards are significant rankings and gains for your business. 
So that was what I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and please hit like as well. If you have questions, pop them below and I or my team will get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching. Talk soon. Bye for now.